Kuklas, it's Christina with Kukla Cosmetics and in today's tutorial I will be showing you how to achieve this look. It's perfect to use this look to transition into fall. It's kind of monochromatic using a matte brown which is a nice rich color. It's a perfect color for fall and it's also inspired by one of my um, very many beauty icons. Her name is Anna Visi. She is a Greek singer. I grew up listening to her music and as a little girl I just absolutely adored her. Uh, this month I will be focusing on different makeup looks inspired by her. From this album it's called Adivoto and in English it's called Antidote. Um, I love this. It's perfect for Halloween. The cover theme is kind of like Medusa, um, which I love. I love the story of Medusa. It's very uh, tragic and it's kind of inspirational. I totally get why she chose this theme for this album. This album was absolutely amazing. Um, so if you're interested in finding out how to achieve this look, continue to watch. As always, I'm starting out with freshly cleansed skin. I'm spritzing my face with some rose water. I am doing that because I'm following that up with a hydrating oil and the oil gets absorbed into the skin much better when it's a little damp. I'm also applying that to my lips so they're nice and hydrated for my matte lip. I'm prepping the skin with a fluffy brush and my goddess powder. I'm just buffing that in all over the face including the eyes for a long wear all day long. I'm then going in with my brush and I'm applying my foundation. This particular one is a BB cream by Jane Iredale. It's about a medium coverage just to even out my skin tone and I'm blending that on the jawline under the neck and chin just to tie in that color. I'm going in with the concealer wherever I need a little extra love. I'm blending that out again with the same brush and I'm also using my fingertips. I like the heat from my fingers. It just helps the product blend and melt into the skin so effortlessly. Next I went in with a pencil for the brows and with a concealer I'm prepping the lid for my shadows from the lash line up to the brow and I even dragged that in underneath the lash line a little bit and I'm setting that in place with my goddess powder. For the eyes now I'm taking a tapered brush with Socolata bronzer and I'm going to be building some color on the lid. So I'm going to be applying that into the crease in a windshield wiper motion. Blending is very worth that extra step. Going back and forth windshield wiper motion and I'm building the color intensity. So I'm applying the product and then with a fluffy brush. I am blending that out and smoking out the shadow so there is no harsh lines and everything just looks kind of faded out and seamless. And I'm going back and forth with these two steps until I achieve the desired color payoff and intensity that I like. Next I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm doing the same exact thing on the lower lash line. It should look something like this. And with a black coal pencil I'm going in and lining the eyes. And with the same pencil brush I am going in and I am lightly blending and smoking that out so it doesn't have like a definitive hard line. It just looks like a smoky line. And it should look something like that. Doing the same exact thing on the lower lash line. Same process. And I'm finishing that off with a couple coats of mascara. If you want you can add falsies. That's totally up to you. And that is the finished eye. For the lip I'm using my Socolata bronzer. I'm layering that on top of the hydrating oil and it's creating like a very velvety matte beautiful color. This will tie in with the rest of the look. I'm also going in and applying that with an angled brush onto my cheeks, my ears, the jawline. I'll drag that down to my neck and decollete. I'm not really going to do any heavy contour or bronzing, just a kiss of color. So it looks like I was laying out in, the, in Greece in the sun and looking as effortlessly beautiful as Anna does. And just blending, blending, blending. 
And that's it. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you ladies enjoyed watching this tutorial. I hope that it was easy enough to follow along. Again, this is a look that you can kind of pull off for any kind of event, day or night. You can add more uh, drama to it by adding more black or more bronzer, whatever you really prefer, totally up to you. Stay tuned for more makeup looks inspired by this beautiful, beautiful lady. And obviously I will um, tag some of her videos and some of her information down below if you would like to check out some more of her music. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their day. We like ya. <laughs> Θα κλαις 